All right, hospital part two. So we wake up in a hospital scene with Paxton, and we found out all these people that worked at that warehouse or factory or whatever like that, they had these tattoos. They put these dog tattoos on the inside of their arm, letting them know that they working for this company. So one of the police officers is asking him a question. All of a sudden, he shows he's got a dog tattoo on his arm. The beef is there again. But it was just a dream Paxton woke up. So apparently, he went back to his ex-girlfriend. That was the only place he could hide out at. She says nobody knows his location except for her and her sister. He's like, your sister? Your sister's a blabbermouth. She always talked about they both get lost even coming up to their own father's location. Apparently the next day that wasn't the case. Cause she wakes up in the morning and finds Paxton Dud Dill Daddy's shit head cut chopped off. Them niggas found him. Now all of a sudden we got three new girls taking over the lead. Beth, Whitney, and Lorna. Beth and Whitney are in this class painting sculptures. Lorna's real quiet and to herself, but they're all friends. They were doing one sculpture painting on this lady named Vishka. But Vishka absolutely ends up talking to Beth later on at the class. And she loves her painting so much and Beth is like, I'm just give it to her for free. So she wants her to share, share a drink with her and stuff like that. I guess she's gonna hook up with her later. So all three of them are supposed to be going on this trip, boat trip or whatever like that. They end up running into Vishka on a trip. So she's got a spot for them to go to. They end up going to Slovakia. What resides in Slovakia? The same damn hostile hotel that Paxton and his boys was in in the first movie. The manager there takes their IDs and passports to check in. But then he see, we see what he's doing with them. So the last one I tried to talk about who uh, paid these people to kill these people off. What was the incentive for giving these people money to do this? So now here we find out. This guy scans the passports, right? He makes calls and text messages to all these rich people. And they basically bid on these people like it's an auction. Man, it's a wild shit. This guy Dave wins the auction on Beth. So Dave's about to get ready to collect his prize. So the girls get in a room, get situation, then they go to the spa to get pampered up. So now we know it's all about money. LaVishka is actually part of the deal. You already know what it is. So they all go to this event later on that the um, hotel is hosting. Like a dance-off hoot nanny. You know, you know what it is. They all getting their drinks on. See, the thing is, Lorna doesn't drink. But Whitney spiked her drink and was like, fuck it, she's going to get loose tonight. Dave being incognito also attends the party. Now the entire time he's been rolling with this dude named Stuart, Stuart's in on it too. But he's always questioning himself, acting like he has second thoughts about the whole situation. And Dave basically gets him back on track. He talks to Beth for a little bit, casual conversation. Lorna ends up getting buzzed, dancing with some dude. She's about to go on a boat ride with him. While Beth and Whitney are being occupied, Lorna and this other guy are having some laid back chill time. But then I know where some other dudes kidnapped Lorna. It was all a setup. Next day, Beth and Whitney end up going to the spa. They're worried about it, but Vishka reassures them that she's probably just somewhere getting a cheap clap. Get in the business. Now, when we hear Beth and Whitney talking, there was a situation where they talked about money. We found out that Beth has got a stupid amount of money. It was because her mom died when she was 12 and left her everything. And they reiterated she could buy Slovakia if she wanted to. So yeah, Beth got cheese. So Beth was relaxing in the spot and all of a sudden she was the only one left in there. It was like, where the fuck did everybody go? All of a sudden we see the guys in black coming out of nowhere. Beth in trouble. She's running all of a sudden the little kids come out of nowhere. Remember them in part one? But then this guy named Mason comes out of nowhere along with Vishka. And they quote unquote, save Beth's life. Then because of the situation, they got to sacrifice one of the kids. Then they all push one of the boys out there like, oh, that's fucked up. Then Mason puts the gun on him, done deals him. Meanwhile, Beth goes back to the house. We see Whitney's been captured and Lorna's been captured. It's gruesome the way they finish off Lorna, man. This is crazy. It's like a whole damn ritual. But Whitney, they try to get her pretty and dolled up. Then she hits butts this chick. You think she's about to escape, but really she's not. So at this point, Beth is with Vishka in their house. She's going to get her a set of change of clothes. You know what I'm saying? They're going to change up some clothes and she tells her to get some rest. So Vishka goes downstairs. Beth wakes back up. She starts looking around the room. She looks at like a guy in a picture that looks real familiar to Beth. Then she looks outside the window, see the guys in black coming up to the house. And she goes to the bedroom door and she sees Vishka, realizing she set her up. She tries to hide in the closet. Then the secret door opens up. It's got a bunch of freaking heads in there. Paxton's head is in there too. Confirm he's done deal. Beth is captured. So apparently Dave had actually paid for Whitney and not Beth. My bad. And Stuart's the one that's going to be going after Beth. So Dave is with Whitney right now. He's like automatically playing with a saw duster. He ends up cutting Whitney's face by accident. It turns out Dave was not the one ready for this shit. So Dave is like, yeah, I did my job. I'm done. The guy's like, nah, man, you got to finish up your contract. So he tries to leave with an elevator. They end up sicking the dogs on him. Dave's done deal. Dead as shit. You ain't lived up to your agreement, fam. And now Stuart's in the room with Beth. Beth is like, oh my God, what are you doing? I know you don't want to do this. So he gets to the point where he tells her, look, I'm not trying to kill you. If you keep making noise, we're both going to be dead. So he unties her and they try to find a way out. But then he totally flips the script and backhands her out of nowhere. We find out, yeah, Stuart's got an alternate personality. So when his alter ego comes out, oh yeah, he's about that action. So how's Beth going to get out of this? So Stuart goes on and on about his wife and all this stuff. And she's like, well, what would your wife think about all this? He shows her a picture. It turns out his wife is actually Vishka. Like, the fuck? I never would have thought that shit. So in the conversation, he keeps calling Beth his wife. So she's going to use that to her advantage. So she's going to use that to lead him into a false sense of security. And act like they're about to have sex. When he's not looking, he takes advantage of her. She takes advantage of him. 
Beats him with multiple shots of a crowbar. Knocks out the camera. Then she got Stuart tied up in the chair. She tried to get the code to the door, but the door wouldn't open. When it did, somebody came through there. She whacked that nigga with a crowbar, and now she got a gun in her hand. A bunch of niggas came through. May say came through. It was mayhem. She said, oh, this is all about money. I got money for your ass. I cut your deal and all that. Then he was like, something about contracts. She's like, well, even if you do have the money, the contract states you got to kill somebody. Nobody leaves out of here without doing that. So she's looking at Stuart with these pliers in her hand and cuts his fucking balls off. It tells him, let him bleed to death and walk the fuck on out. Winnie didn't survive. She was done deal dead as shit. Her boyfriend didn't survive either. Matter of fact, he was in a room with some crazy scientists. Turns out this motherfucker likes eating body parts. Some cannibal shit. Cannibal like that have an ass nigga? So basically she got attached. She bought her way out of freedom. Beth did. And after that, apparently she had one more mission left. Next thing we see this party scene. The little kids are back. They snatched up Visca's purse. She was chasing that them and she fell to a trap. The kids all laughing at her. She's like, what's this? Then Beth pops out of nowhere with a motherfucking axe. Chops her head off. Done deal. And that's how part two went. Now I'm ready for part three. You got Beth out here running shit. Bottom line, let's get it.